Siberia is a massive country. It's so huge that it makes up 77% of Russia. But strangely, its population is only 23% of Russia's. It's no surprise that scientists discovered odd species in Russia's most barren locations. Furthermore, other strange and incomprehensible extraordinary things that scientists just discovered lying in the country, such as the Tunguska incident. Topping on all of these is the extraordinary thing that scientists have discovered lying in the country, a prehistoric virus that has been sleeping under the ice for millions of years. What's even more strange is that the enormous craters are unexpectedly emerging across the freezing Siberian tundra. What are these? And why are all these things happening in the utterly desolate places of Russia? Should we be concerned about these new findings? Well, let's find that out in this video. So let's get started. Serbia is divided into several sections, the biggest of which is the West Serbian Plain. In central Russia, the West Serbian Plain contains one of the world's largest areas of straight flat land. Some of its regions are primarily flat and swampy, whereas the northern plains are dominated by permafrost, which evolved gradually over millions of years. A team of French microbiologists from Ace Maisset University was researching ice cores taken from 100 feet below the permafrost in 2014, when they discovered something remarkable, a virus that had belonged to the enormous viruses discovered 10 years ago and is known as Pithovirus siberian. They believe that this is an ancient viral strain that has been frozen and buried beneath the ice for 30,000 years, together with other frozen species. No living example of this virus has ever been detected before the research was conducted. The French researchers were curious about the virus strength, so they decided to put the ice core samples with amoeba colonies to examine if it would affect them. What happened was astonishing to say the least. The single-celled organism started dying after the experiment, implying that there is something in the permafrost that was killing them. When the scientists investigated the amoeba colonies, they discovered that the gigantic virus was one thousandth of a millimeter long and was reproducing within the amoeba. Some familiar viruses such as the influenza virus contain 13 genes and are roughly a hundred nanometers across. Enormous viruses such as the pithovirus can be a thousand times larger and have over 2,500 genes. But the question is, is the virus dangerous to humans? As far as scientists know, this particular virus does not infect people or other animals. Humans, however, shouldn't overlook its ability to survive after being frozen for millennia. It's alarming that many people are concerned that global climate change and the Siberian drilling operations would release potentially hazardous viruses and even creatures into our modern environment. When a similar incident occurred in 2016, the public's concern became a reality. Anthrax was discovered in the Yamalo Nenets area of northern Siberia when the region's temperature rose to more than 95 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer months. The permafrost thawed, exposing the frozen remains of an anthrax-infected reindeer. Soon after, anthrax spores were released into the atmosphere. Eight people were infected and approximately 2,000 reindeer died Due to this, residents were relocated 40 miles away from the outbreak, and the Russian government dispatched troops skilled in biological weapons to deal with the crisis. Although the bacteria were controlled from spreading, no one could tell if this could happen again. The idea of an ancient lethal virus reawakening is alarming, but it isn't the only issue in Siberia. The quickly changing environment is thought to be the cause of these virus reawakenings. According to studies, the temperature in the entire northern Siberia region is increasing at twice the rate of the rest of the Earth. Because of this, permafrost has been continuously melting and decreasing thickness since the 1970s. Could we see another prehistoric virus awakened anytime soon? Well, no one could tell us the answer yet, but there's something else very strange going on in Siberia, and the discovery might put the entire planet at risk. So what exactly is it? That is what we will discuss in a moment. If you've made it this far into the video, you might be enjoying it. Give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And let us know what you think in the comments section. Moving on, several years ago, strange craters were emerging in the Yamalo Peninsula region of northwest Siberia. Scientists can't exactly tell the reason behind this. The first crater was discovered in July 2014. It was when Russian helicopter pilots saw a weird hole in the permafrost that appeared out of nowhere. 
The hole that appeared in the frozen ground measured 65 feet in diameter, and its depth is said to be more than half of a football field. Blocks of ice and gravel were thrown hundreds of feet from the crater's core. Soon, the open holes filled with water, becoming a lake. The kind of hole that appears in permafrost would only occur if a massive blast occurred. However, no one has witnessed or recorded an explosion. Therefore, it's unclear how such a hole appeared there. However, in 2017, a reindeer herder reported hearing a huge explosion and seeing plumes of smoke from the ground. Following such an explosion, a crater with a diameter of 25 feet and a depth of 65 feet was discovered, surrounded by large slams of ice and chunks of soil. It's important to note that the explosions produced by these craters from ice volcanoes are not similar to those produced by a volcano. These holes were most likely formed by an explosive combination of methane gas, ice water, and mud. They do not, however, burst as much as they eject material. When the pressure inside gets too high, a mound known as a pingo bursts open. Gas pockets beneath the mounds form as permafrost melts quickly. Minor temperature changes in the sediments release massive volumes of methane gas. Another source of methane gas is organic matter, including the dead plants and animals that have been buried deep in the permafrost for thousands of years. As the dead plants and animals decompose, bacteria consume and digest them, producing either carbon dioxide or methane. Additionally, when the ground thaws, it also releases carbon dioxide or methane into the sky, which is a major issue for the planet. This is the reason methane gas is 30 times more toxic than carbon dioxide. Given the size of the craters, it would almost certainly be dangerous for people or animals to be near them when they erupt. Because the ground where these mounds are located is not occupied, they pose no significant threat to people. According to Russian scientists, there are thousands of these mounds, some of which seem to be getting ready to burst into craters. The most recent of these craters were discovered in September 2020. This was formed when a methane gas bubble that had been expanding beneath the thawing permafrost burst apart, leaving a massive 164 deep crater. So far, approximately 20 of these craters have been discovered. However, these are not the only craters that we have. There's something far greater, more frightening than this. The Batagaika Crater, known to locals as the entryway to the underworld, is considered to be the largest of these slumps and the world's largest permafrost crater. It can be found in the East Siberian Taiga ecoregion. The cutting of trees around the sea resulted in the thawing of permafrost in the 1960s. The frozen soil began to melt, since there are no trees around that help in regulating the temperature. Soon it collapsed and sank. This yawning pit is now over half a mile wide and 328 feet deep. The crater is always active and expanding at an alarming pace of 30 to 100 feet each year. But the Gaiga Crater, like the other craters, is releasing long-held carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, causing even more climate change. Researchers found out that the basal layers of permafrost were 650,000 years old, making it the world's oldest permafrost. What they found here are ancient forest remains that were buried for ages under permafrost. According to geologists, the sediment layers in the crater could tell us something about thousands of years of Earth's history. Scientists are unearthing well-preserved relics of flora and animals that have been extinct since the ice era. As the crater expands, Today, scientists are warning that the melting permafrost of Siberia might cause a massive environmental disaster, especially since they have discovered 7,000 mounds or pingos that could be gas-filled bubbles. Scientists are also trying to determine which of these craters is dangerous. But there is another strange crater in Siberia whose formation is unknown to everyone. The Potomsky Crater, which was found in 1945 by a geologist named Vadim Kompakov in the Irkutsk region of southeastern Siberia. This crater's cone has an unusual shape, with a tiny mound in the center that is 130 feet tall and 100 meters across the base. Scientists estimated the crater's age to be roughly 250 years old. However, what's really surprising and shocking about this is that the trees around the crater indicate rapid development, similar to growth found in the woods around Chernobyl following the nuclear tragedy in 1986. 
Many people have tried to figure out how the crater was formed. Some researchers have attempted to connect it to the Tunguska meteorite, which is yet to be discovered. Others say it is the remains of a volcano. However, it is hard to say if this is true, since there was no volcanic matter that was ever discovered. The entire structure is made of shattered gray limestone. According to geomorphologists, the Potomsky crater could represent a very unusual gas volcanic event, producing large underlying gas reserves. However, the mystery remains, and there is no strong proof as to how it was formed. Maybe one day we'll have the answers to this and all of our planet's mysteries. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. And as always, thanks for watching Ponder This.